since I came back uh, yesterday from a field trip to, to Sada, which is a city in the north and uh, which has certainly been the one most affected by, by the bombing over the past three months. That's a place where we've had an office over the past 10 years and which unfortunately we had to leave because of the intensity of the bombing and because we couldn't really work under such circumstances. So we left a month and a half ago. We went back for a first visit uh, in order to progressively start re resuming our operation uh, up there. And I must say that uh, my, my two days there were quite uh, heartbreaking uh, seeing this, uh, this city. I mean, on the road to, 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 to Sada, uh, you see every, every kilometer or two uh, a truck that has been destroyed and we just passed by next to a truck that was hit by an airstrike a couple of hours before we, we, we passed and then you could still see the, 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 the shipment of apples uh, spread around the street and half burned. And, and when we reach Sada City, when you, when you go on the main street, the, the commercial street of Sada City, every, every 100 meters you have a, you have a missile uh, crater in the middle of the road, or you have a building destroyed, whether it's official building, or uh, fuel stations, or even sometimes private house. And, uh, and I must say that in 15 years working in war-torn countries for the ICRC, I've, I've never really seen that, except maybe, uh, maybe in Gaza. The situation in Aden is, is very much dire. There has been ground fighting in this city, uh, this large city, for the past three months. Uh, in the streets, we have the front line right in the middle of the city uh, with a lot of displacement, lack of food, lack of water, lack of electricity, uh, outbreak of malaria and, uh, and dengue fever. So the situation is very much dire there. I mean, ICRC has had a team nonstop uh, day in there for the past uh, three months. Uh, trying to supply goods to civilians, trying to fix the water network, uh, supporting several hospitals and uh, primary health care centers. But the main problem we have in Aden is actually being able to access Aden. Uh, the situation, the security situation is such that uh, it's extremely difficult to be able to send convoys. We finally managed on, on Tuesday to send a convoy of uh, seven trucks of food that will be distributed on, on both sides of the front line to the civilian population on both sides. Uh, but what is clear is that uh, this is clearly not enough. More convoys need to be allowed into Aden to, to, to support uh, the humanitarian population. And in general, we humanitarian organization, ICRC in particular, need to be allowed to, to, to deliver humanitarian assistance in an independent and, uh, and impartial way in Yemen. And that's the only way we'll be able to, to support uh, the people of Aden in particular and the people of, of, of Yemen in general.